How you guys doing? My name is Mike Toledo. Welcome to my channel, the live sessions. I'm going to start trying to be uh, doing stuff live for uh, consistently at least once a month, but probably twice a month at least. Maybe more. It just depends on how it goes. If you're new to my channel, uh, my name is Mike Toledo uh, here at Dentime. What up, Tim? My tech just left. And so I do everything about painless dermal repair, tutorials, reviews, um, you know, you name it. I have podcasts too, so if you want to check that out about business things, promotions, marketing, all that stuff. But mainly I, I keep it all PDR. I do have a, a couple uh, recon, reconditioning services I do. Other than that, we do bumper repair, we do paint, paint, paint protection film, PPF, or ceramic coating. But today we are bringing you a full review and a demonstration about two tools. So I'm gonna switch it over. Well, technically I'm gonna just grab it right here. So this dolly right here, you can get on, and I can't wait to get my new iPhone too, which is I just ordered, because this one's an 11, and it's very unheard of me to uh, not upgrade, but I've been patient all these years. So anyways, this, and I'll show you a better shot of this. This is from Fairmont Tools, $35 on Amazon. I think they raised it a couple bucks since then, $37. What is cracking lacking, Mr. KCL Creations? <laughs> How's Colorado doing? How are you still, you chasing some hail out there? Are you staying home? Hopefully you're staying home. If not, I know you're making some money somewhere, so. Um, Dude, this thing, I'm gonna show you, perfect for a hail damage too. Perfect for the open hail damage dents, dude. This thing is heavy. I think it's probably at least three pounds, two, two three pounds, at least, okay? Um, the new tap down tips, right? So let me, let me show you, instead of just pointing at it, because this is such a bad, swigging this around here. I'm at home, open up our shop. Oh, that's right. That's right. So, not sure if you got some of these. Bomb.com. If you're tired of your VIPs, which look, like, I'm gonna tell you, not putting any, I'm not putting down VIP at all, dude, okay? But here's, here, we're gonna do a demo too. So hang in there, okay? If you have, God, I can't get this off, dude. Anyways, it's pretty, huh, huh, hold on a second here. You know what I'm going to do? Caesar, what is going on? I got to, I got to take, damn, the thunker's on there tight. Okay. So, we, we love these things, dude. Let me flip it around here. This is probably the best polished metal tip you can get on the market, right? And so if I can zoom in a little bit. The problem is, is that it can mark the clear coat just a bit. Now, sometimes you just can't, can't have a cap on it because you just need to tap down those super sharp highs, okay, with this right here. Love this tool. I mean, it's a must have in any professional PDR technician's arsenal. Remember, you notice how I said professional, right? If you're a person that thinks, oh, I'm going to get that because I'm going to get into PDR because Mike Toledo said to, to get that. Well, you be careful because you're going you're gonna to probably do more damage than, than, than you will not, okay? Because you really have to, tech tip, you have to make sure it's completely level on the panel, okay? Not like this, not like that. Anyways, we'll get to that later. We're going to do a demo on this. I polished this tool a little bit. You can see it's nice and shiny. Love it. And this is my base. This is a VIP. I like the fatty because it's more comfortable on my fingers. Now here's the cap. So before we get into here, okay, let's go. This, if you have really delicate paint and it's soft enough, I like to use these rubber caps. These are, these are called the Guardians, right? All these tips are called the Guardians. And guess what this is called? The Galaxy tip. So Guardians of the Galaxy, okay, uh, prototype but now it's real. The mid-range, this is probably gonna be your go-to cap right here. 
they, this is pretty much, I mean, if you had to pick one, I'd probably pick the yellow, okay? Now, if you want more, more precise, more, maybe you're working on aluminum and it's just not going down, but you need a harder strike without marking, well, you will mark, I mean, you'll leave base, barely like plastic, maybe residue on there, but something you can wipe off and polish easy without color sanding. Any of these tips are great, okay? So look, it's flat, right? This is a harder material and spoiler alert, sometimes they crack, these, the green ones. Now they only crack on the side, they do not crack in the middle or right here. So it's not going to affect the performance of the cap. So don't freak out if you see it and maybe you put it on your VIP because the VIP is a little bit wider, okay? These are a little bit more thinner. So they don't go on as tight. And let's put let's put it, let's, let's kind of, yeah, you can see the diameter difference to just a bit, right? So I have been using this one. I don't see any signs of cracking, but it will split over time if you put it on the VIP. But it won't affect, it won't affect, you know, the performance uh, of this. So Let's go, let's go see what's going on here, dude, okay? So here's my little demo area. Turn the light on. And guess what? I've already got a reel ready, just about ready to go. So you'll see a highlight of everything, but, but more quicker, okay? So if you want to come back and watch it later on, you can watch this full explanation in depth. And then you're going to get kind of a, an opportunity to ask me questions if you want to as well, okay? Let's see here. Let's just do this. That's a good one. So let's just say this is a hail dent, right? We're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna hook up right here. And we're gonna take this one, we're gonna take this one. Alright, and so what I like to do with this one here, I should have a little light here. Hold on, let me. Let me turn on my little other light here, but anyways, we should. If you notice, you can go, and by the way, by the way, check this out. You see this bag right here? This is a bumper bag, and I like to put it right there because it's gonna help my elbow when I'm pushing. It gives me a little bit length, and then right here, and then I can, I can do this, right? So what's crazy about this, make sure you can see it, right? Yeah. What I'm doing is I'm pushing up, right? And I'm doing this. Really, really a good, good tool. So now that you know what I'm doing, now let's go take a look at the dent. Now I have this on video too as well on the reel so you can kind of quickly see what's going on. All right, and we are gonna be a little bit more aggressive so we can use the tap downs too. So again, using this, I'm pushing up and I'm working like this, okay? Or you can rock it back and forth. When you're, check this out, when, you're, when you really want to get to the fine parts right here, I flip it around, right? I use this edge and I can work the little bits of this sharpness of that edge right there. Pretty cool. All right, hold on. Ready? Okay, so I'm pushing, and look at that. Already, look how fast that removes the dent. Super smooth. And then you just push harder. And then now I'm going to make a high on purpose because we, you know, I could, I could go, let's just, let's just, I'm going to use this edge now, okay? And I'm going to just slide it, kind of just pick my spots and push on, on, on top of the edge, okay? Anybody else have any, everyone just, just checking it out, okay? So I'm using that, look at that, I'm just rolling the edge on the sharper lows of that dent, okay? Now, let me zoom in a little bit. 
I'm gonna move my board out just a little bit. And now you can see that little light crease dent there, okay? Let's see how good we can get it. And then now I'm just pushing straight up with, with that sharp little edge, the back side of that. Pretty cool. Now let's, let's make a high, okay? Oops, I don't have this tied down. Just made some, that was a high spot, right? Let's make it a little bit more obvious, okay? Yep, I mean, I'm just pushing with this dolly. I'm telling you, this is the bomb. I, you can, it, it's got such good weight to it. It's just, it's just good, man. I don't know, it's like a stand liner in your hand, shall I say. That's kind of like, if you PDR techs or you veterans know what I'm talking about, you kind of know if you've ever owned a, a, uh, a stand liner tour, how it works is that it's not just straight pressure, it's rocking, rolling pressure. Fantastic, fantastic tool right there, all right. Fantastic. Okay, so now we're gonna use this. Hold on, I, I need a light. Just wanna make sure that a backlight. So stay with me, okay? I'm not trying to go anywhere. We're gonna put a backlight on there. Um, oh, let me let me kind of give you guys a little tour of my before I get into the, because we're gonna we're gonna definitely gonna tap down, okay? And what I do with my light, having my tip, <laughs> we'll grab a different one. So we're talking about the Galaxy and the Guardians, and we'll put we'll put one of these green ones on. So if you're just joining me, we're talking about using that dolly. Right, you can rewatch it. There's a reel coming out too, kind of like uh, talking about that. So we got three caps, right? We got the softest, we got the mid range, and then we got the hardest. Um, I do prefer the hardest in my opinion because um, I get instant, pretty much reaction for the pan on the panel when I'm when I'm working the the highs. You know what I mean? Let's see here. Oh, I was gonna go over my my tools just real quick. So my tool cart, and by, by the way, KCL Mr. Creations right here gave me this, 3D printed. Oh, you wondering what that is for? When I'm working low, I just kind of keep it like that, all right? This is another dolly that I have, um, kind of the same thing, kind of work it, you got the sharp, and you got like a softer push, like, like this, okay? Check this hammer out, dude, right? It's hard to get. Not every Snap-on guy carries one of these, so you gotta order it. Maybe you can order it online. Um, I like it because it's really good weight. I put a little piece of leather on the, on, on the tip because I, I, I prefer not to hear the ting, ting, ting sound. And I put a... Uh, a grip on here. Now I put some gaffers tape over underneath it and then built it up and then slipped my X flock on, which you can get at uh, an Anson tequila tools grip. So they sell these too. So you can go on Amazon if you want to buy some of those. It's called X flock. It's basically what it is. It's fishing pole grip and um, you heat shrink it right on top. Paddles, same thing with the handle, right? Leather, Heavy, this is called Purple Heart, very good. I think it's probably the perfect weight. I, too much weight is just not gonna, not gonna work, okay? Different tips. Oh, by the way, this is a, you probably already know, it's a Milwaukee Packout. The radio, I'm gonna sell this radio because I got some really good high-end speakers here now and it just sounds amazing, so I'm gonna sell this. I don't need it. But if you're a guy in a shop, you, 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 you like this kind of thing, it works great. It's a power charger. It's a you know phone charger. It's, it's the sounds okay in my opinion. I'm kind of a picky person. I think it's okay, but 
you know, it fits the height. I, I like the height of that. The tray. Well, this is a really quick tray. Probably one of the best around in my opinion, actually, if not one of the best. He does sell this up here. He comes with, it's technically designed to come right there, but this, this came out from Anson. It fits this like a glove, as you can tell. Fantastic for your Milwaukee pack out. Highly recommend it. You have a glue gun slot here if you want. Bang, you got that. You obviously, you got your Kiko mini lifter. I mean, almost everybody has a mini lifter of this. Probably a Kiko. If you don't, you, you, you're kind of behind the times here I'll, for a long time. Extensions. I like to have multiple extensions. You never know how many, how many extensions you need to get the right leverage. I've got, and by the way, these came with the top. Not with this, but... These are the trays and they also work as a grip for your battery too if you, when you take these, these tabs out. But it'll work and so if you want to set it on something metal, it won't slide. So these are actually for that. But anyways, I got the, my go-to tabs, my go-to crease tabs. Uh, that's toll cut, which you guys definitely, most of you should have. Here's my different tips, right? My Guardian tips. And then here is one of my cool little magnetic sliding tap down base tap down tips. I haven't tried the glue tabs yet. But this is from RK Tools, they're from Poland. Fantastic tool. My go to tap down tips. I have some old tap downs too, as well, with some cherry caps from Ultra. Really good tips if you can get them and they're consistent. Um, if I have big, nasty crowns, motorcycle tanks, aluminum, I'm using this. This is, this is my leather VIP tip. Dude, you got to get this tip, man. It is precise, precise, very good. Different ball tips for pushing. I really favor these for creases. So if you have, if you're working creases, you're going to love this um, because no matter what angle you're pushing from, you're still getting the same point of contact with the balls, with the rub, the, um, the hard tip balls and the kind of, what do they call these? This tip, it's not real, real wood, it's something else. But Anton sells this, Ultra sells these kind. But my preferred tip for is the Glexo wooden tips. They, they're fantastic, specifically the ball, right? Hopefully I don't have to go because somebody's not, might, hopefully they don't walk in. Um, my tools, I don't have, I always take my tools on and off because it just depends on the job. If you're a new tech for some reason or you want to be a new tech, you're probably going to want to go with something like this, right? You're going to go with a, maybe a 24 inch, not an 18, 24 is probably the sweet spot. Um, Double bend soft tip tool. This is one in particular is from Anson. Um, you can put your different handles on it. Door Lord, right? Nice kick, freaking money. Going for the doors. This is your Swiss Army tool because you can put different tips on it and extensions. And then probably a whale tail. That's that's probably all you need right there to master. Everybody gets so mixed up about how and they get excited about buying tools and then they end up buying tools that they don't need or don't even know how to use on top of that. So uh, I, I encourage you to really understand what tools you're using for what panels first. And you can go on to denttrainer.com to learn that. Uh, I have a tray here that before I had this higher stacked and whatnot, I'd have an extra tray that comes out. This folds out and then I have a little bit of a table. I put a magnetic tray from Snap-on right here so I can carry my little small tools there. And by the way, you can buy a step for here or um, basically a, just a little pad for when you have longer tools, your hail tech, you can slip it here and you don't have to worry about dragging it across. So that'll drop down to that piece right there. And that is from Willy Quick. This is from really quick. So really good. And this is not made to be here. So if you see it a little flimsy, that's because it's not made to be there. It's made to be against this, this corner here and it's a lot more stable and this telescopes, but I keep it there for light stuff 
because I don't like to clutter this uh, too much. You can, by the way, pull this off. You have a full flat area to work on if that's what you want. And that's my T-Stack. That's one of my first toolboxes. I still love it. Compact, still does the job. I take that occasionally when I'm rolling in my, in my little trailer right here with my little three-wheeler um, spider I have. Okay, so let's get back. Let's get back to the biz, dude. all right? So you're, yeah, so everyone's, everyone's kind of good on this, right? So I don't need to explain any more. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just setting my light here. Sorry, guys. Let's see if we can get you guys a, a good spot. Yeah, okay. So we do, what I do with my tip, So there's the, there's the green tip. It's probably, it's the hardest. It could still split. Like I, if you're just joining me, um, I was talking about it can, it can, these can split and they definitely will if you put it on your VIP. If you buy the Galaxy, it hasn't split on me yet and this is the second day. Constantly tap, tapping down. But like I said, they're known to split, but it's not going to like hurt the performance of the cap. So don't trip out if that happens to you. You can still see it's pretty precise. I'm still, I mean, obviously it's just not, it's not a, uh, a tip that you're gonna go, all right, that's the end of it. Uh, you know, I, I still go reach for my, my peewee tip, you know, or which is this right here. I still reach for my peewee tip or my VIP uh, micro or, you know, something like this, but this is how that's more sharper, okay? That's how I would, I would probably use a lot of that for here. But if this was a delicate paint, there's no question in my mind that I'm going with this right here. I definitely recommend it for uh, for newbies because when you're a newbie you're going to slip and if that's the case you want to use the black one. Okay, The black one's more rubbery and um, I'll show that in a second. But let me... So this is the hardest one. This is the green. And it's not likely it's gonna leave marks or little residue from the cap. But just make sure you wipe the cap and then make sure your panel is clean too so you're not, you're not creating any marks that you don't have to worry about and clean up. You are gonna probably polish no matter what towards the end, but, but you don't wanna be using this every time, which is what we call it color sanding or you know, toll cut. It's unnecessary, right? You don't need to. Um, to do that all the time, but this is why you have these this type of tap down. So that's why I, I did that. Cool. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a sharp one. Okay, now that you know that these work, right? So let's do a sharp one. Okay, if you just join me, I was using this tip right here. I mean, this tip, this tool. This is a dolly. And it's called, in case you guys don't go on there online right now, after you watch my live, yeah. Fairmont Tools on Amazon, okay? They keep going up little by little in price. I got it for $35 when, it was, uh, when I got it. It's about $37 um, right now, I think. So that's, that's it. All right, so let's push, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push and I'm gonna rock it. I'm not gonna just go like this. It's 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 like this, okay? Here we go. Look at that. I'm putting really a lot of pressure and just rocking slowly. Look how crazy fast that brings that up, dude. Huh? Heck yeah. 
Let me see. And then you can use your tap down again. And then for precise, I'll go to a peewee. And if you're in the area of Las Vegas, right, they have a show out there called the PDR Expo. And Anson has these right now for sale. Now you can see the peewee's kind of marking it up just a bit. This is an older peewee. Of course, I need to like probably just wipe it down a little bit. But it's super precise. I mean, really, really precise. All right. So I would, in, in real world, I'm going to change my board. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, right? And I'm going to tap down right here. I'm going to tap down right there. And then there's still a low here and here, right there. Set it up. Another thing too, what I like to do is like, if this dent doesn't want to cooperate, I'll just open it up again. So, that's actually 101. I mean, that's, that is PDR 101, right? The, the biggest challenge that people have when they're learning is that they don't know how to do this. They don't know how to reset. And when you know how to reset, your dent's going to give you a, a you're going to have another great chance at fixing it. When you don't reset correctly, right, you have two chances, and those two chances are slim and none at actually fixing that dent because you're so worried that tapping it down too hard is going to make it worse when actually it makes it better. So the reason why is because you're opening up the center pit, really, and you're making it more shallow. So you can take something like this or the edge. Now I'm going to use this edge. Okay, this time. And then this, the last few times you've been seeing me doing this, and if you're watching the whole thing, right, you, you were so, seeing me use this edge too again, okay? Let's, uh, I'll, I'll lower this down just a bit so you can see a little bit more of what I was doing here. And so I've had my elbow, by the way, I have my elbow on this bumper bag right here. And I'm taking this, and you can see I'm taking the edge and pushing. Okay. So I don't have light under here, but beggars can't be choosers, man. Does that make sense? No questions? No, uh, no answers? No questions? Q and A's? So I'm, again, pushing with that. You can actually, when I have the edge, I actually just push straight up on this case. I'm not really rocking it too much because it works pretty good just by pushing directly with the sharp edge of that back of the dolly. Now, if I'm doing this in real time, and we'd be talking, doing it, I, we'd already be done. Like, and then my hail friends, Maybe done before I said done. Dude. They are absolutely crazy good, fast. High, little bit of low, high, just kind of showing you like how to read a reflection, a line board. Here's normal, right? So we still got some flickers in here, all right? Some flickers. What size of the holes do you drill for that dolly? <laughs> what up, Terry? How you doing, dude? Just joining me. I'm using this. I can use the top of this. I can use this. Oh, for stretched dents, by the way. Stretched big dents. Let's, let's put one in here. Let's put a big dent in here. I'm going to mess that. You guys, you guys ready? All right, let, me, let me switch back real quick. And then we'll, we'll go look for a, we'll go look for a, a big tool. Let me, hold on a second. Let me go look for a, let me look for, mm, mm, eh. I'm just going to 
I wasn't gonna use something like this one, dude. I, I think I'll get more velocity with this one. You hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. I was looking on Den Trainer and I really having a hard time picking a course. I work for Car, uh, Carvana doing PDR, but I've only been doing it since April. Okay, so good, good, cool, perfect. So what you wanna do is when you go on a Den Trainer, the first course you wanna watch is ground zero PDR training, okay? It's gonna explain the car and the tools and the links with the tools you can buy and it goes in order down there. So I really think if you watch that, and don't watch it just once, watch it a few times, that way the details stick with you, okay? I think the biggest thing with PDR is that people wanna know, oh, how, let, me do, let me do the glue pulling and the big parts, but you realize that it's the small details that make the big parts look really clean, okay? So I hope that, that helps. Okay. Vac can, oh, ah, ah. Okay, he's talking about, he's talking about that thing right there. Man, Terry, thanks for asking, man. We'll do this. We gotta go fill it up, though. Let's go. Let la da dee da da da. I I am so due for a new phone. You can see it's like it, let me put some light here. There. I'm so due for a new phone. Uh, and I'm surprised I haven't got a new phone. I'm, I'm actually surprised myself because I'm actually going to fill this up here. Hold on. Because doing all this stuff here. Because I've been cheap. Right, I, I thought, you know what, a camera is not going to be that big of a difference. And then I saw Joe, you know, if you guys have ever watched Joe Dent Evo, right, DentEvo.com, his videos are super detailed, right, and he says everything with his phone. So he used to use a GoPro, but he uses it. He moved up to an uh, iPhone 13, and that camera is just like ridiculously good. And so I got Jelly, and I said, fine, I'm going to do it too. All right, so let's see here, Air. Let's go air. Gosh dang it, what's wrong with this thing? Oh, maybe I could unplug it. No. How about this? Okay, I got 15, 17 pounds in here. This has no safety. Come on. Make sure you got my, okay. Oh, oh, 17 pounds. I think, I think the Dental Olympics puts it at like 20 pounds, 22, something like that. Let's. Let's see how this looks. Switch up, you guys. A lot of D. Make sure the puck, you know, one time I put the puck backwards and it put a giant ring around here that was just a nightmare. It was like this perfect circle crease. All right, here we go. One. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot too. Look at this. I put a I put a glue on here to replicate something that sharp. <laughs> Watching from Muhammad. Well, welcome. Welcome from the Middle East. I'm 37 and looking to get out of mechanic work and get into fixing cars with PDR. I've been practicing all summer on my cars and finally in friends' cars. Realistically, is PDR something? So congratulations there, Kyle. Op, dude, you could start. Dude, I've trained people at 65 years old, man. So you, you, you're a youngin. Yeah, in fact, that's actually a good age because you probably understand responsibility better. If you're not patient with PDR, you are either going to learn how to be patient or you're not going to be able to do it. 
So if you're just joining me again, this is a nasty, let me just, gosh dang, dude. Okay, so that kind of just shows you like what it looks like naked. Here's the truth. This, ooh, gosh dang, dude. I'm not gonna try to fix this 100%, you guys, right now, because there's, you know, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, to fix a dent like this is gonna take probably at least, for me, at least two hours, maybe three, because it is so, it's not the size of the dent, it's the sharpness of the dent that's, and it's how stretched the metal is. If you notice, it starts from a little bit right here and here, you see the lines that just start getting wider? So you got about a three inch dent, easy, three and a half maybe, okay? So we're gonna use this to push up. Let's see what happens. Okay. I can't even find my, find the center, all oh my, geez. Okay, so here's another technique here, okay? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try another technique because it's so deep. I'm gonna get a different, I'm gonna get a different hammer. Terry had to friggin. I'm just trying to see how much I can lift up. Ooh, this, is, this could be too stretched. So I was bringing up the center. My other technique I would generally use is take a before I did that, was take a blue, like take a tab, a glue tab, and pull it just slightly, and then start continuing to do something either like this, or, or just traditional pushing just a bit. So let's see. Let's try these new tap downs. That's good. It's got some stable. So what I'm doing, I don't know. I'm trying to just release that center a bit, a little bit more. Get a little more aggressive. Now I'm at the pit area right there because that's where the, um, the glue was. The, the glue, the tip, the nipple of the, of the glue of that puck. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good so far. I'm gonna go peewee this time because I just need to be a little more precise. Now some people I know, hey, you could do it faster this way and that way. I get it. I'm just trying to see how this works right here, okay? This is the first time I actually did something like this. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate it, man. I'm actually checking the bottom to see if that's any good. I'll push up a little bit more. Getting that, I'm still using the round. So far, so good. Go 
little more precise. Okay, let's try that dolly one more time, okay? And then we could go, technically, you could go traditional. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna use this now, okay? This part right here. Oh, okay, Mohammed. Well, welcome to Seattle, man. Okay, I'm using the edge. I don't like the edge yet. The edge is just too aggressive right now. So I'm gonna keep using that dolly, the, ball, the, the round part of it. Now, I probably wouldn't do it this way. I would probably stop right there, tap down, continue with the tool, and just really pinpoint that center that I want, okay? Let's tap down again. Maybe what I'll do, if this thing wants the oil can, which it seems like it's still pretty good, if it does want an oil can, which is still fine, then what we do is use a power PDR box, tighten that up, and then it'd be, we can get it going. Let's see, let me back this up a little bit. Thanks, Terry. Put me on the... Put me on the spot, huh? So we got, in case you're joining me, I, I was using that gun. Terry goes, you should use the gun for a stretch dent, but I forgot that this, <laughs> this, this puck has this glue on here, which makes it not only stretched big, but deep too. So you got a stretched sharp dent. By the way, this is a great tool right here. This is uh, Dent Crafts, double bend. It's got a great tip on there too. You can put a little tape on there if you wanted to. If you're, uh, I keep it simple too as well. I have a chain. I'll just hook, hook like right here. And now right, I can get to where I need to go right now. Okay, look how level it is when you're pushing. You don't want to be like this, all right? You don't want to be like that. I do spontaneous lives. I really don't have a schedule. I mean, like, I'm not the most, you know, scheduled person for something like that, but I, I do do this, okay? I do this often, so, every so often, not often. In case you're just joining me here and pushing like this. And let's see if I can get at least this stable. Now I'm using a sharper tool because I don't want to overstretch the perimeter of the dent. I want to just fix the center part of the dent. And that's why I'm using this tip. And I have to be careful too that I don't chew up the paint. All right? I'm pushing just enough to assist the low and then stabilizing it. There's some dents that you are not going to be able to fix if they're too stretched, at least just the PDR way. You'll have to have maybe a, um, a machine that I, we use is called a power PDR box. And what it does is it tightens up the molecules in the, in the metal or aluminum. And then it, it prevents it from oil canning. It's, so you can continue to do your PDR technique. Right? It's still, in my eyes, stretched, okay? So we'll use a sharper tap down, which is the peewee. Yep, it's you see how fast it came back? Like that's telling me. Maybe I'll I'll save this and do a a 
live on the power PR box, right? It looks like it's almost done, right? It looks like, oh gosh, Mike, you could just get that. Let's try it, let's try. Just, just, to, just to say, I'm gonna switch the tip. I'm gonna to go to a, it's called a double bend soft tip. Take a walk with me. Let me just, let me do this. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Double bend soft tip. This is probably the tool I would say, the 24 inch. Do I need something longer? Let's go a little longer though. I'm gonna go 30 inch, because I want, I want more length, which means more leverage, all right? Come in here. Handle, which I'm gonna put down so you guys can see. This is Ultra, um, Dentcraft handle, modified. So I had, I like the feel of, the, of a Dentcraft handle. And so I had my Dentcraft tool cut off, went to Ultra, had them um, weld one of their quick connect to the octagon that I, that I have right here and bang. So, and I took the, uh, I took the uh, Dentcraft and I put an octagon on the end of it. So, but it wasn't a double bend. So there you go. And then I keep this like this. You see this one, this is another one, but I closed this because I didn't realize this has a purpose. So this, you can take this and do this, right? So now you got leverage like a mofo if you're doing tanks or you're on the side. So you can just really torque down instead of being limited just with this right here. So there you go. That there. Now we need to pick a tip. Hmm, let's go R4. R4 is just gonna be the tip. Then you have the cherry cap right here that all that um is that R4? It's an R5, it's a little bigger. R4 is gonna be a little smaller, like this. Okay. I like to see where all my tips are at, super organized, right? We're gonna slide this in, the top, and then we should have good access just like that, with good leverage. Okay? A lot of these tools that you're seeing that are here, are I'm just naming them right off the bat, VIPPDRtools.com, AnsonPDRtools.com, UltraDentTools.com, DentCraft, pdrtools.com, um, there's A1 tools, where am I at, okay. All right, so let's see, truth, let's, let's see the truth here, okay. This is a stretch dent, it does not look like it if you're just joining me, what I'm trying to see if I can save it, if I can save this being too stretched. If not, we'll do a second part live, we'll do a, what's called the power PDR box, okay, and we'll show you how that works. So, push, release, just testing it. And it looks, this is the deceiving part, right? You're like, oh, I'm getting it. It's coming out, right on. And then, bang, it doesn't. Now I have a little bit of a low in there. Let me move the board just. See if you guys can see it here. So there's a little bit of a low right in front of my fingernail. So what I did, oh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to a sharper tip, much sharper. And I actually like using aluminum tip, aluminum sharp.
And then I'm just trying to really tighten up that center. So when I, hopefully when I tap it, it doesn't collapse. But I still think it's going to do it. Bring it in, move it around. Just trying to, I'm, what I'm trying to do is, is look for the obvious things I need to actually fix. Because if I have the lines too far out, I'm going to see too much detail. It's going to overwhelm me. And when it overwhelms me, that's basically called confusion. Right? And then if you try to work beyond that and you're confused, you're just guessing. And guessing ain't going to do nothing but get you in more trouble. Well, so I got just a couple more areas I want to tighten up before I tap. Okay. Ah, it's, it's too stretched, ladies and gentlemen. Could. I'm gonna try to take this dolly, put it underneath, and just tap them right here. Okay. See if that will do anything. Let me try a different. Tool. All right, so it looks like we're gonna do part two, ladies and gentlemen, because this is a dent that is, it's not far off. I mean, it's not like it's hugely stretched. It looks like a typical door ding, maybe a small hail damage dent, but it's definitely it definitely doesn't want to come up, stay up high. Okay. I mean, it wants to stay either low or when you move it up high, it's the pit. So I'm gonna try one more last ditched effort using this right here, okay. Actually, let's go sharper. Might as well. Y'all don't know some sharpness here. Let me introduce you to something that's right up my sleeve. This is the talon. I think it's called the talon. Or, I don't know. Maybe uh, the Freddy. Freddy? I don't know. Anyways, it's a PDR Finesse. And Ooh, that thing just knows how to push, dude. The sharper tool you go, the better, okay, uh, at this point. You don't want to go soft tip. It's, that's another big rookie mistake. You go soft tip, you end up stretching way more metal than you have to. I'm really trying to just condense that center. This normally works for any other type of dent, but when you get 17 pounds of pressure with a hockey puck on a freaking glue and on the end of it, you guys know what I'm talking about, like this. This is what it was made with, with an air cannon hitting it at 17 PSIs, okay? That's, technically this would not work at a Dent Olympics because it's, it's just too sharp, too stretched. All right, tap down. Let's see. This is ideal of how you want to bring it up. But let's see if it wants to. Well, one tap usually tells me. Yep, it's stretched. See how it wants to collapse right there? Although it's a little bit better. It's not terrible.
is terrible. I got friends in low places. So I always like the dark spot looking at that. Let's, let's back this up because we got more people joining us. So I just want to kind of let you guys know what we were doing, recap. So I put another dent in there prior. It was basically just showing you how we use this dolly and more in the common purposes of those type of dents. And then what we were doing is using the Galaxy with the Guardian tips, right? because here's a cover for it, and it makes the tip less invasive when you're tapping with a VIP or this type of tip, because it's metal, or this one's aluminum under here. And uh, basically, you can tap down without worrying about marking the paint, okay? So that's the purpose of that. But somebody said, I said, let's do a stretch dent, a little more stretch dent, and someone says, yeah, let's, uh, Terry, he said, let's do the air cannon and PSIs, and I put 17 PSIs, all fine and dandy, but what happened is that I forgot, because I trained advanced this stuff, and I forgot I put a dried glue on here for a very, very stretched dent on purpose. Not knowing it was there, forgot, and it hit, and it made a very stretched dent with a pit in it. So this really is the pit that we're trying to work out, but it's stretched. So we might do part two, well, we probably will, because I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. So, but I'm not doing it today. Maybe let's do next Friday if that works for you guys, and we can do that. Okay, I'll set up another time. So let's do that. What up, Casp? And we'll try one more time to try to see if we can tighten this up with this. If not, we'll do part two. Okay. La da da. It, see, this thing looks like very easy. You're like, oh, that's, that's coming out nice. And it, it, for the most part, it is. But I'm, what I'm doing is I am pushing just before I crack the paint. <laughs> I mean, literally, just before I crack that paint. That's how, I'm gonna bring this in just a bit. I'm trying to get these lines as tight and straight as possible without cracking. And that's why you have to have your reflection a certain way. Switch over. I'm gonna go. It is better. It is better. I told you it wasn't going to be a quick, fast fix here. You can't leave your outside low, I mean high. If you leave it too high, there's not enough metal flow to come towards the center, okay? So if this is, this is slightly high. If this is not looking like this, and this isn't looking like this, you see how even it is, right? But you can see over here it gets more tight, right? So I gotta tap here, tap here. 
This looks like it's almost gone, really it does. I might still take another shot at it, but, and maybe be able to raise it up flat. If you notice, the center gets a little bit lower every time I tap this because what happens, it's releasing tension, it's letting the low come, like, come down a little bit now because, because this is pulling it, right? So it's pulling to make it tighter and then when I release, it kind of goes lower, which is good, very good. Visually, it doesn't look good, but it's good when I go push because then it wants to come up without resistance. Move my board. Every time I start something, it's harder to see. Okay, now let's see if I can just get it somewhat flat. I'll still do a, I'll still do a hot box next week. Why not? Okay, yeah, you see, watch when, I, when I'm pushing, okay? Watch the left side. See how it's already pinching? It's telling me, hey, you're, you're just, because you, you can't, you're, you can't leave your dent like this. Because it looks like a mountain, actually, from, from a distance. And this is why I'm going to use the Power PR box later. On next week's live episode. I'm using a super, super sharp tool. I'm actually watching the camera right now with me pushing. So I'm watching what you're watching. And if you look, if you look, right? I'm trying to get that right there. With that sharp tool. Shoot, I see better. Basically, I'm trying to freaking pinpoint a Nat's pubic hair, dude. Micro adjustments. See, even the camera's having a hard time seeing it, right? One little spot. Ooh! Ooh! That's high, so I do like to use, again, I like to use this tip right here. This is, this is my PV, it's pretty much my go-to most of the time. When I'm working with paint I don't want to mark up, I'm using this tip right here. This is the new Galaxy caps with the new, uh, sorry, the Galaxy screw-on aluminum tip with the Guardian caps on top. Perfect for the VIP as well. But, but when I like, I like more precise, I'll use the Pee-wee. All right, fellas, you can see that this is still slightly stretched. And that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to power PR our box. I'll show you what it looks like, what I'm talking about, okay? Step on over and check to the office. Okay, I'll read some comments too because I, I didn't see some. I'm in Colorado Springs and we got hit with two big storms. My hardest dent so far is the rear quadrant of the aluminum Miata hood. Deep stretch dent. Got it from half dollar size to the P size. Problem is, oh, yeah, you're probably doing this. I mean, this is what you're going to need right here. This, my friends, is the Power PDR box. So you use this wand right here. Right, and we have to actually take the e-coat underneath on the bottom, sand it down, 
and then use this and you, you, you tap it and or wave it around and it really, you'll see it, it tightens up the metal dramatically. And then I can go in there and finish it. It can turn a $3,500 loss, right? Into you getting paid because a roof on a vehicle or a panel, let's say this aluminum on a Mercedes, you're talking $2,500, $3,500. Um, but one stretch dent ruins it all because they'd have to replace it. Does that make sense here? So this, this looks easy. It's not. It wants to come out. You see how it, it, it tightens just like this, right? And then it goes low. It's, it's on the verge of really oil canning. So that's why I would use that. Okay, so Kyle, good luck on that, dude. Oh, I see. Yeah, stabilizing under hood supports. Well, always it's better to have, if you have a, a brace under there, it's really, it's more likely not to overstretch. But if you have an open area like, like this and you hit it with an air cannon, yeah, you're going to get some stretch. So, Casper, I've been using the dolly and hot glue, the back of the panel where it can reach around and big, long van slide panels. Try that. Okay, cool. Mr. Casper, I trained him out there. He's in the UK. Fantastic guy, already developing like a mofo, dude. So that's great, dude. All right, let me read some stuff here. Dude, I got to send you my bank info, too. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, what glue should I use when I'm done fixing all the dents? What do you mean when you're done fixing all the dents? What, what glue? You mean why you're fixing the dents? So. I think, well, it depends on the climate, humidity in the shop, right? But the best practices, no matter what glue you're using, is make sure you, you, you wipe down the panel with 91% alcohol. Some people like 99%. Some people like denatured alcohol. That's up to you. Denature is a little aggressive on your fingers, so make sure you use gloves. Um, if you can use gloves most of the time, please do, because over time, you're going to have a cracked nail. And unless you want to pull it off, then you're gonna be stuck with that cracked nail for life. I don't wanna pull my nail off. <laughs> so uh, the other thing is um, it's a timing thing. So, you know, 10, 15 seconds, flash it with heat before you put the glue on the, ta on the panel. Just make sure it's super clean, okay? Ooh, doo -doo -doo. I already downloaded the Anson app and I put on the cart and these rods in the beginner, which are double bend soft tip, whale tail, and the door lord. Heck yeah. Good job, Mohammed. Dude, you will not regret it. Hey, go check out the um, top five tools for beginners too as well. That, that kind of gives you a highlight of that stuff too. Okay. That's free on YouTube. Uh, Terry's all, sorry about that center, but that dolly works well. Thanks for the demo. You're welcome, Terry. Hope all is well, dude. Trained him too in the past. It's another excellent tech. Uh, cut hood supports. Kyle, for the cut hood supports. Vibrator hub. What the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, man, but waiting to weigh, weigh you in. Ah, I, I learned another British term there. Weigh you in. I guess that means pay you back. Cool. That's cool. Anyways, you guys, my name is Mike Toledo. I hope you guys enjoyed this half demo. Right? It was merely meant just for the dolly and the tap downs, but you know, we got a little carried away here. I'll be back next week. We'll do a, we'll do a demo on the uh, Power Piera box. Why not? You know, why not? We'll, we'll, that hood will be here. If you guys have any questions after the live video, please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Maybe let me know what you guys want to see next. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys have a great weekend. See ya. Oh, before, sorry, I meant glue for cutting hood supports. Oh, well, if you're looking for something like that, just before I leave real quick here, this is what I like to use, dude. This is, is pretty, pretty, I think this is from Dentcraft, I think. I think it's, I thought it was Dentcraft. So that's what I like to use. Goodbye, everybody. Holla at you later.